Today we'd like to demonstrate the stain resistance of our commercial broadloom carpet. And we here at Krauss always prefer to um, demonstrate uh, our products in a very demonstrable way, some in a way that uh, leaves no question in our minds as to the validity, the power, and the message that is trying to be illustrated. And as they say, presentation without demonstration, of course, is just conversation. And here before us we've got um, four pieces of carpet. Over here is just a regular, run-of-the-mill, common, uh, cut-pile nylon commercial carpet. Here is similar construction, cut-pile commercial carpet, similar weight and construction, um, and that is manufactured with our unicolor system. This is a solution dyed product over here called our indelible nylon, and over here is our incomparable strudon fiber. And uh, to demonstrate the differences in stain resistance between these products, I'll use a, an industry standard, what the textile industry likes to call the, uh, the uh, Kool-Aid test, uh, and it's a special mixture of red dye, citric acid, and water, and we'll just put a little puddle on each of these products, and we will compare each one equally, and uh, you can see how each product reacts slightly differently to the dye that is placed onto it. And this dye would simulate any strong household liquids that you may have from wine to coffee to Kool-Aid, Coke, all those things that are common in the house and uh, that cause most of the headaches for the homeowner. So we'll let that sit for a little while and perhaps I'll even massage that in and get that really working nicely there. You can see how it's sort of nicely beaded up here on the Unicolor product. And here's our Ultrel Indelible and our Strudon. And each one will sit for a few moments and we will attempt to take that color out. And we're back. And we're just going to take the sample of regular nylon and we're going to immerse it in this bowl of plain tap water and we'll do our very utmost to get that stain out. And I will blot this with a towel. Try to remove as much of the water as possible. And then we'll take this piece of nylon with unicolor. Try to remove some of that. You could see how the dye, a lot of the dye remained on top and it beat it up quite nicely. That gives you plenty of time, in some cases hours, to get to that spill before it seeps right into the carpet pile. But we massaged it in as I demonstrated, I tried to force it into the pile, and some of that will have been removed. And most residue has come off of that. Now this has seeped right into the carpet pile quite nicely for us. And I will just massage that very briefly into the water and blot. Blotting is always better than scrubbing. When you're trying to remove a stain, blot, rinse, blot, rinse. That's the secret formula. And our Strudon carpet fiber. As you can see, this uh, dye is coming right out quite nicely out of that. And I will blot as much as I can. And you can see how that has come very clean. Now, a lot of dye remained in the water as it should. But here you can see that this is a typical commercial carpet. And your typical commercial carpet has absolutely no stain blocking product on it. 
and that is the result. We would never have allowed a piece of carpet to enter our own homes without some kind of stain treatment or stain warranty, but yet we seem to be able, we seem to see that a lot more commonly in the residential carpet business. Here we have our piece of nylon with unicolor that has come entirely clean. There is no residue of red dye, nor is there any residue of red dye in the piece with our Ultrel indelible nylon, nor is there any red dye left in the piece with our strewed on carpet fiber. Clean and stain free. Now that is a great presentation that we do for our customers on an ongoing basis and why wouldn't all commercial carpet be provided to our customers with that kind of uh, stain resistant power. So thanks for listening.